Doesn't matter, you're still gonna jump in it. Come on. Jump. Jump! Jump! Thank you! Jeez. Alright, so right here we need to use the steel pipe for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself a little bit. Or maybe fully, so. Right, so now here we have to find the right place to hit. It's just a. Okay, we found it. This is different. Alright. Oh, come on, James. Maybe here? Oh, there we go. It was fast. We found it right away, so I'm gonna change back to my uh, handgun. Because I love my handgun. And he fell. That was smart. That's smart, James. That's fucking smart. There we go. Kick! Gonna go this way. And my cat's trying to get in my room. Both my cats are outside. Um. Ooh, we have a key. Oh shit. I know exactly what's gonna happen, and I don't like it. Um, now remember this that we found at a hospital? Yeah, we, we gotta use it. Okay, so. Now we gotta try to find the number. Nope, it's not that one. Um. Oh, come on. Uh, did I... Oh, fuck. What if I try this one, this one, and, uh... Oh, what? Uh, James! Stop! It could be... It could be simple as being like this. But now... What about... I hate this. Ah, finally, thank you. Was that simple? God damn it. You never think it's going to be that simple, and then it, it ends up being that simple. <clears throat> okay, now we got to use this. There we go. And we're going to jump down. Come on, James. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. 
He had it coming too. Eddie. <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie. All right. This is also one of my favorite scenes in the game. Um. All right. It's a corpse. The body is marked with bullet holes. Well, no shit, James. Okay. I know there's a few things that we need to pick up here in this area. So, like this and this. Can I examine that picture over there? No, I of course I can't. And we have a save point over here. That's why um, I didn't save earlier. Because I knew there was going to be one over here. So we're going to go ahead and save. Um, and I'm going to save over here now. Okay. Let's go. Okay, um, we're really gonna need a map. I want a map of this area. And there he is. Thank you. Oh, you fucker! Did James just reload again? That dumbass. Um, I was gonna do something, but, um, I'm gonna try and go over here. It doesn't matter. Now, over here. Oh, there's a mat kit on the other side. I knew there was something that I got. I had to do there. God damn it! Let's go back. Um. All right. Let's go over here. Thank you. All right. Hey, Resident Evil, can you do better than this? I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, um... This door doesn't open. I'm sorry, but I still don't think Resident Evil is a rubber horror. Um... Now there's something that happens here. Sometimes I can trigger it, sometimes I cannot. I did it. <laughs> but you can never open that door and see what's behind it, so... Um... Now I'm not gonna taunt the, the Resident Evil series anymore, I, I guess I've done that enough. You guys already know what I think about it, so... Um, don't get me wrong, it's it's a fun series, I just don't think it's scary at all. Zombies are not scary, so, but whatever. Um, oh, stop it. Thank you. Oh my god, I love this soundtrack. I have so many goodies in here. But um, after after this let's play is done, um, obviously in the future, not right after it, but if you guys want to see me play this game on hard difficulty, let me know and I will do a, probably like a run through it, so, but we'll see, not right away after I finish this one, but uh, you know, in the future, if you guys want to see it, let me know. Anyway, Tulica Lake, the town's main tourist attraction. It, this clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend is true. 
on a fog-bound November day in 1980, no, 1918, um, the little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply says it most likely sunk for some reason. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship, nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Oh, God damn it! I wanted to know. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. That is a fucking creepy story. That's some fucking creepy shit. I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's go over here because I think there's a rifle or something <clears throat> that we can, uh, yeah, that we can pick up here. And there's also some ammo, which is good. Now give me my rifle. And rifle shells. Okay. Not gonna be using the rifle just now. I basically just used that gun for the last boss fight. So, yeah. <clears throat> but we'll see. Alright, so we checked everything here. Let us go back. And check the rest of the prison. 